Who knew there would be so much hype about a Black Panther movie? If nothing else, I think that's pretty sweet. So this is pretty cool. Um, I actually got to see an early screening of this movie. I was on a Disney cruise and the passengers got to see the movie uh, a day before the release. So I thought that was pretty cool. So what do I think of Black Panther? Well, first of all, I do love the character of Black Panther. I thought he was very good in Civil War and I wanted more of him. Chadwick Boseman gave a solid performance in Civil War and he gives a really good performance here. But what do I think of the movie? The movie is pretty good. It's not bad, it's not amazing. It's kind of one of those middle to upper Marvel movies. The hardest thing is that Black Panther had a lot of the ingredients to make a really, really good movie, but it kind of got bogged down by some of its flaws and cliches. It's like if your mom decided to make your favorite cookies and put all of your favorite ingredients in, but then she put in some eggs that were like not rotten but like definitely not fresh and then when you tasted the cookies it was like oh this is really good and then you're like oh mmm so the cookies didn't turn out bad because they're still like your favorite cookies but they just didn't turn out as good as you hoped they would be I promise that oddly specific metaphor isn't from experience my mom makes really good cookies so what are those really good ingredients first of all Black Panther feels like a complete movie. From beginning to end, there was a story and a theme that the filmmakers wanted to create. All of the scenes have purpose and none of them are there just to fill time. Because of that, the story has several, oh, I get it, moments that keep you interested. Near the beginning of the movie, we heard T'Challa's father tell him, you are a good man, but it is hard for a good man to be king. This theme is present throughout the entire film as T'Challa wrestles with whether Wakandan tradition is the best for Wakanda or whether he should go his own way. T'Challa has a complete character arc and we feel pretty satisfied with it by the end. The main cast has really good chemistry, especially T'Challa and his sister. There are several really good fight scenes, mostly at the beginning of the movie. And yes, the soundtrack is sweet. All of that sounds really good, right? It does, but this is where those stale eggs come in. And the stinkiest one is named Killmonger. Please don't kill me, um, I kinda think Michael B. Jordan's villain sucked. I'm sure he's a great guy in real life. He delivers all of Killmonger's lines with the same little smug tone that makes you wanna slap him. For me, that was the biggest drawback of Black Panther. It had an opportunity for a very uh, relatable, compelling villain, but to me, it just he just, he was annoying and generic. Sadly for me, this villain problem kind of affected the rest of the movie. I don't know, he just really got on my nerves. I only have two other negatives with the movie. Um, I didn't think that the CG was all that great. Mostly the backgrounds in Wakanda. I've never actually been to the African savanna, but to me it did not look very realistic at all. It looked really digital. Um, you could tell it was green screened. I saw the movie in 3D, so I don't know if that affected it at all. Maybe you just kind of gave it a weird depth, I don't know. To me, it just didn't look right. And then my final negative is that it ended with another generic CG battle at the end. I mean, most superhero movies do that, but the way that this movie was going and pretty much how good it was going into that battle, I thought maybe it would change it up and do something unique, but it didn't. I mean, if you're gonna do kind of a CGI battle at the end, at least make it more unique. Like Ant-Man's battle at the end of the movie, it could be a good example. It's creative with the little, you know, they're shrinking. They're shrinking and the battle is like, yeah, I don't know. The ending fight just didn't seem super compelling and wasn't very unique. And to me that was kind of sad because it was like the climax of the film. I wanted it to be different. I wanted it to be super cool and it was just kind of meh. All of those negatives really stink because to me, the rest of the cookie could have tasted so, so good. So yeah, that's what I think about Black Panther. It's a complete film with a singular vision and theme. Its main characters and storytelling are really, really good. However, lack of a compelling villain, subpar CG sets, and general superhero genericity, I don't know if that's a word, bog it down into just another okay Marvel movie. It's a cookie that could have tasted really, really good, but just a few bad ingredients turn it into um, a fine cookie. Hopefully Marvel stocks up on fresh eggs in time for Infinity War. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.